From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Friday Night Fever on Demand for January 12th. I'm Mike Ludlum. Let's go to the hardwood. Girls basketball, Chassel, the number two team in the Little Five Pole, hosting Wakefield Marinesco. That's Layla Raudiola with the rebound and the score going coast to coast. Late third quarter action. Now for Wakefield Marinesco, Carly Yan drives. Not quite. Alexa Jillick is there for the putback and the foul. But the Panthers were in command from start to finish in this one. Sydney Dennison, a double double of 15 points and 12 rebounds. Chassel, your winner, 66 to 27. Over to Painsdale, where the Jeffers Jets were taking on the Hancock Bulldogs. And that's Sierra Stevens for three. Ties the game at 20. Next for Jeffers, Ivy Clement will find Marissa Nordstrom in the corner for three more. Ooh, nothing but net on that one. Jets up by one. Hancock has a response. Deandra Carroll takes the pass, lines up the three, and cans that one. Hancock would be able to keep the lead. It was close. 48-45, Bulldogs with the win. On the scoreboard, Dollar Bay, seven cents better than Republic Michigami, 44-37. Barrick has been playing well the past couple weeks, 58-22, downing Bessemer. Elise Bessonen had 21. The Battle of Ontonagon County goes to Ewan Trout Creek, 66-34 over the Gladiators. Ironwood back in the win column, 66, Solon Springs, 47. Autumn Raisner, 31 points and a school record eight three-pointers. And the Eagles get past Forest Park, 59-45. Rapid River, five better than Big Bay Danak, 47-42. Holly Stapleton had 25 points in the losing effort. Lenny Gustafson and Keisha Davis had double doubles as St. Ignace rolled past Newberry. Sheboygan, 10 better than Rudyard, 50 to 40. Cedarville, 45. Pickford, 39. Brimley over detour or around detour, 53 to 49. And across the border, Wasaki, the Rangers, one point better than Niagara, 28 to 27. Boys basketball, Norway in the dark blue at Bark River Harris. That is Josh Bolden scoring from Trey Dota, 15-12 nights after one. Ryan Arndt, Loganheim, Ryan Arndt. He's not bad when he gets a chance to look at the basket. We're tied at 17. Knights trap at half court, get the turnover. Josh Plant, Cody Hendricks smartly gives it over to Connor Ortman for the slam. Ortman had 26, it's 24-17 Knights. Quick ball movement here. Logan Heim, Hunter Doubleat, Katie Mustafa completes the circle of life for the hoop and the foul. Next, Arndt will drive, not quite. Boulden grabs the rebound, gets it ahead to Michael Wilson. He'll put it in for a 30 to 21 Norway lead. And the Knights would expand on that, taking this one 64 to 41. Limited boys scores with a couple games not being played, both on the boys and girls side. Iron Mountain gets 21 from Marcus Johnson, defeating Gwynn 72-48, Austin Forbes 26 for the Model Towners. Marquette gets to play just about everybody, 70-42, defeating Menominee. Nagani lost by five earlier this week, and unfortunately the Miners found a way to lose by five last night, 58-53, Sault Ste. Marie. To college hockey, Bowling Green, NMU battling for second place in the WCHA standings. Troy Loggins is on the board with a goal from Adam Rockwood. That's a power play goal, 1-0 Wildcats. A short time later, after another goalie interference penalty, here we go again. Jordan Clement, Gary and Craig had D'Amico Hanoon. And uh, Joe Nardi gets the goal, and it's a 2-0 lead for the Wildcats. To the second period. Hark, another power play. Ding, another power play goal. Darian Craighead makes it 3-1 Wildcats. Yes, keep waving that flag because the Wildcats are on the power play again. Phil Ballou down to Troy Logan. Zing, his second goal of the night. NME wins this one, 5-2. 4-4 four, four, four on the power play. After the contest, Coach Grant Patoni talked about the power play and what they need to do on Saturday. Uh, the guys did a good job moving the puck. Um, I mean, we were firing shots, you know, and that's how you beat pressure. Uh, once you shoot a few, then some seams open up, and um, guys did a good job. And a uh, really important part of the game, after they made it 2-1, to one, we had a chance to the power play and uh, extended that to three and then extended it to four. So 
uh, really good job in the power play. And, you know, you always you always think that they're going to go in. You hope they go in, and uh, just got lucky enough to find the net twice tonight. I think we just got to come out with the same intensity and you know just work together and play as a team. And I think it'll I think it'll come. Our end zone time helped us. Um, you know, create energy and, and enthusiasm on our side of the rink, and uh, we need to make sure we do that again tomorrow. Um, their rush, their rush offense is good. They had some odd man rushes tonight, so we got to make sure we have numbers above the puck. Um, but you know what? Tomorrow's a heavyweight fight, and we got to be pre pre prepared for the game. Wildcats now tied with the Falcons for second place with 34 points. Robbie Payne played in his 140th game for the Green and Gold. Face off Saturday, 7 p.m. On the scoreboard, Ferris State defeated Lake Superior State 4-0, and it was North Dakota downing Bemidji State 5-1. Big Ten hockey, good night for the Wolverines and Spartans. Michigan 5-3 over Minnesota. Michigan State 2-0 whitewash of Wisconsin. Also in college hockey, Wisconsin Superior women defeated Finlandia 6-1, and the Lawrence men doubled up Finlandia 4-2. High school hockey, Calumet had two in the third period. The bad news is Detroit Jesuit already had four, and the Cubs won four to two. At the Traverse City Showcase, Escanaba blanked Romeo four nothing. It was Marquette three two over Grand Rapids Christian in overtime. And even though Dante Fortner had a hat trick and Pete Ropiak had one goal and two assists for Kingsford, it was Macomb Dakota picking up the victory six five.